welcome back to Thriftronics. Well, I got the chance to go and look at a proper flea market, like an antique market. Um, prices in these places are always a lot more than what you're going to get if you're just um, generally looking on marketplace or anything. But it was really interesting to have a look around and see what there was. Near the very end of the vi video, I, I've never seen as many of these uh, eight track cassettes in one spot there's a whole shelf full of them uh look at some records uh there's a, a really nice um uh like a rocker cover you know where the, the valves go on a on a on an engine well they made it into a lamp there's some really interesting things on the video i'm not going to talk through it just just going to let you walk through have a look through and see what you think see if there's anything in this video leave me a comment if there's anything in this video i should have picked up <laughs> okay cheers guys enjoy the video Boom box. Look all the cassettes. We've got a couple of cassettes for sale, but I <laughs> know oh, he's got loads, isn't he? How much each? Seven bucks each. I think. Mm. Start down here. That's the new old stuff, you know. Who's got music? That is clever. <laughs> did you make? Did, did you make them? Did, did you make these? That's a clever idea. Well, that's an, that's the top of an old car where the rocker where the rockers are, where they put a light in it. Hey? Yeah, well, it's a rocker cover. Yeah. Amazing. So we found from roughly this part of the video there was plenty of music going on in the background and uh, when I first edited this video I got a copyright on it which as we all know restricts the video so I'll just have a little uh, let's just walk through it and I'll talk over what we saw now this huge mostly old furniture in uh, in this part of the of the of the store but lots and lots of music stuff here lots of tapes look at all them tapes every single one of them tapes blu-rays all them shelving there is all to do with um uh, vhs tapes uh, there's just too much to look through to be honest guys these are all blu-rays um, I was looking at anything that may interest me. I, I did mess up a few weeks ago. I, I picked up um, some VHS players and I wanted to test a few of them. And one of the VHS videos that I found at a thrift store was Mad Max, the first one. A film that I really, really... I, 
Um, I really, I love that film. It's just the first Mad Max, but what I wanted to do was um, actually use that film to test. Here we've got many, many Blu-rays. There's, uh, I don't think many of them are worth much money though on the Blu-ray side. You know, you look in a couple of books each, but they were wanting uh, substantially more than that for these. Uh, an old iron. I was just pointing out to the to my wife there that do you remember using one of these without even the steam on them? It has the plate though that you can put the iron back onto. Plenty of plates and old old items for the kitchen. Uh, that's definitely not an old, well it's quite an old Man United shirt, Ion, uh, they're not using that sponsor anymore but not anything that you would call vintage or antique. And just looking through some of the clothes, bric-a-brac, and these are all books, like many many books, not anything again that I'm interested in with books, just too heavy, pots, pans, more furniture, more what you call bric-a-brac, another iron. <laughs> I think this is like the third iron we saw. But they're looking at like 20 bucks for them old irons. I don't really think they're worth that, to be honest. I uh, don't see a good, um, a good resale on irons. This was pretty interesting. An old kiddie's kitchen. It's got the double fridge and the sink and everything on it. More... Uh, Copyright music coming up on this part of the video. The more tables, uh, furniture, ta more tables on top of tables, cutlery. Now this was pretty cool. This was looked like a 1970s sports book from uh, back. It, it, you, you could smell the books in this place. Absolutely smell them. My wife found a Lady Diana book. The person she met a photo, well, back in the 80s. Uh, yeah, more, f just too much furniture really for what, you know, for what we're looking for on this channel. But there was the odd gem. Look at this, uh, answer, well, telephone, radio, alarm clock. I've seen a few of them in thrift stores now for much less than, uh, the price that we're asking here. I've seen them for about $15 at least, at the, at the most. Um, again, cupboards and drawers and <laughs> just... It's it's almost like a an an old person's furnished home. There's a bed there, uh, some nice pictures. That's uh, what we would call a a telephone table where you would put your telephone book in there. You'd sit on it and then your telephone on the top. We had one of those next to our front door where the telephone came in so the telephone would used to come in the house near the front door and everybody's telephone usually would be next to the front door and i found a, a nice guinness umbrella for the garden that would look really good on uh, in the back garden more <laughs> more tables there's a magazine rack there that was pretty cool just missed it <laughs> looking through uh yeah, milk crates for putting your records in. My well, wife found something uh, pretty interesting over on the uh, on the other side here. She's hiding behind that cupboard, and here we found an old some some kind of typewriter, but with uh, almost like a cashier thing with numbers on by Burroughs. Does anyone know what this is? Can you? Can you tell me what the, it looks like it's supposed to be? It might be something to do with an accountant, actually. It's only got numbers on it, so maybe it's an accountant's way of adding up and subtracting for uh, for whenever somebody's doing their taxes. And this, these are their old chairs. I think my grandma had one of these chairs. You just, it folds up, comes down. Oh, it's a stool, a stepping stool, sorry. Got somebody else here looking at this... Uh, this account, I think it's an accountant's tool where they would put some paper in and they could do all the calculations on it and add add up and subtract and stuff. Uh, I'd let the conversation run a bit louder, but because of the copyright music, it would just uh, block the video. So um, there's not much I can do about that, guys. 
So yeah, more oh nice some sets of plates. Just further along, we're going to look at some um, huge stack of eight-track cassettes. Yeah, a lot of bric-a-brac like that. It's these places they they sort of end up with a load of garbage on the shelf with some good stuff, and it's so annoying, you know. And there you go. These eight-track cassettes. These are absolutely <laughs> historic. I gotta get myself an eight-track player. If you got an eight-track player, is it worth getting an eight-track player, guys? Just leave me a comment and tell me. Anyway, till next time.